And now the parents talk. Mm -hmm. We have different sides. When we get to the other, the other farm, you will now see the one that are bigger than this. Whoa! You understand? So those ones we sell them at the rate of one thousand two hundred. There are some that we sell for one thousand for parents talk. Please say that again. I said there are some snails that we sell for one thousand two hundred for one, and some that we sell for one thousand. When we get to the other farm, you will now see. Here at the second location, and this place has a different setting from the first one that we documented. And of course, Mr. Edet is here to take us through it. All right, Mr. Edet, what do we have here? Well, what you have seen here is um, a pen that contains uh, Ashantina. Ashantina, as you can see, we have jumbo size of snail here. Wow. This one weighs up. Almost uh, about wow. the 600 grams. Yeah. Lisa, can you help me with a key, a key, a, a, a the weight, a weight, uh, the weight there? Now we are using weights. Can I put it? And this is the type of weight we are using for snail. Now, this is about 600, 700 grams. 700 grams. 700 grams. This one of the, the biggest land snail because the the biggest in the whole world that has been re recorded mm. was 900 grams. Wow. Worldwide. Wow, this is. That has entered Guinness Book of Records record as the biggest land snail weighs 900 grams. And this is about and 700 grams. This is about 700, 700 grams. grams. 
So you're about to change your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long has the narrative this will soon, soon, will be, will soon change. change? Yes. How long? Is, how old is this? This is a uh, you know what we, we kept them here for reproduction. Hmm. This is like almost about uh, three years. Oh. But they have grown to this size. Uh, this uh, size before, before before now. Before now. like about two years. About two years. Yes. Okay. So they now. So we now keep them, them for, for reproduction. reproduction. Uh. Yes. So as you can see, we have a lot of them here. See them here. We have a lot of them. We have a lot of them. Jumbo size. See them. Whoa. Whoa. Look, if you enter this farm, you will not know we have things like this. Yeah. You understand? Look you will not know. In fact, in fact, you will think there is nothing here. I know what this farm is worth. The worth of this farm. That's it for this episode, but before we go, I'd like to point out that this is exceptional. This is beautiful. For my head, it doesn't breed for scientific purposes. It doesn't breed for prize winning. It breeds for commercial purposes, to put food on the table of Nigerians. Africa is good enough for this kind of business. So if you're an NGO or an organization that gives grants to exceptional farmers like this, my e our email is on the screen. Get through to us and we'll be able to connect you and you know, show you the ropes on getting to these farmers and what they can actually do. In our next episode, Famede shows us the rest of the farm. Now this particular one will lay up to 200 eggs. Mm. 200 eggs, and this can only be found within North Central. Okay. You can see it in Abuja, mm. Kaduna, um, Nasarawa State, mm. and uh, Kogi State. Mm. And in Kogi State, there is another species of snails, but that one is Marginata. Mm. but not that particular type. Right. They have different types like that. Have you seen an albino snail before? That white one is a uh, albino. Oh. Albino snail. Well, Pamendet <laughs> has a few of them and he showed us one of them. Now, incidentally, on the day of shoot of this documentary, a customer who saw from an edit based on the interview that we did on YouTube flew into Abuja to get 50 pieces of point of lace snail for his own farm. Well, um, it actually started by, what I say, by instinct. I just saw some snails around my compound. And I used to have an uncle who was a professor. And I knew, I remembered when I was young, he used to breed snails. So I said, okay, let me just give it a try and see how it is, you know, at least get busy when I'm not at work. So I did it and I could see them, they were producing very well and they were... That's the kind of growth that will bring to businesses. So this is another reason you should consider subscribing to this channel or contacting us so that we come and do this documentary for your own company. Well, until next time, when we see you again, my name is Pascal Okwara, this is Talk 10 Nigeria, and we're out. <laughs>